Welcome to OFAR. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining step by step on how to assemble the Calyx shelving unit from IKEA. Before you start, you'll need to grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a hammer, a level, a pencil, and the Allen key given to you by IKEA. Also, I'd recommend putting all the bits in a bowl or container so you won't lose them in the process of assembling the Calyx shelving unit. The first step is to place the pieces that pertain to the frame in the proper orientation. The top and bottom panels will look like this. As for the right and left panels, they have the two holes on each side. Make sure both panels are placed like this with the two holes facing outwards. After placing the panels in the proper orientation, you'll now move your attention to the top and right panel. You'll be putting them together like this. Use the Allen key and two screws to hold everything together. The two holes where you'll be screwing them in are located on the top panel. Now grab three small panels that look like this and six dowels. You'll be hammering in two dowels per panel. After hammering in the dowels, insert the panels like this. You might need to use a bit of force to get them in all the way. Next, you'll need to grab three wood panels that look like this and 12 dowels. You'll now have to hammer in six dowels into these six holes. Do the same for the other side as well. Now grab one of the panels you just worked on and insert one side of the panel with the attached dowels into the two holes. It'll look something like this. Now grab six dowels and hammer them into these six holes. You may have to align the vertical panels for the wooden dowel to go all the way through. The next step is to grab another three small panels and put them in like this. Now grab the wooden panel you worked on before and put it into these two holes like this. Make sure it goes all the way in. And again, grab six dowels and hammer them into these six holes. Now grab the three small panels and insert them in like this. And again, grab this wooden panel and insert it like this. Next, grab six more dowels and hammer them into these six holes.
Now grab the last three small wooden panels and insert them in like you did in the steps before. The next step is to grab the left panel and place it in like this. Now grab two screws and the allen key that IKEA gave you to secure the top panel and the left panel together. Next, grab the last six wooden dowels and hammer them into these six holes. Now grab the bottom wooden panel and fit it in like this. You'll most likely need to use a little bit of force to get this bottom panel in all the way. Next, grab four screws and using the Allen key, screw them into these four holes. Now grab the felt pads that IKEA provided you with and stick them onto the bottom of the bottom panel. You can put them in each corner over the screws and under each small vertical panel. You'll be using a total of 10 felt pads. You're now basically finished. Now check if the sides are level. If you're planning on putting the shelving unit against the wall, then grab all this hardware and attach it to these two holes on each side. You're going to have to buy proper screws though to attach the shelving unit to the wall. IKEA doesn't provide you with these screws. If you want to use the shelving unit to divide your room, then you'll have to install this metal bracket. First draw a line using a pencil on the top. Then using the line you just created, attach the metal bracket using two screws. You'll have to buy these two wall screws, as again, IKEA doesn't provide you with any. Next, unscrew the top two screws fully, and place the shelving unit under the metal bracket. Then just simply put the two screws through the metal bracket and into the shelving unit. Either way, you should now have a fully assembled Calyx shelving unit. Hope this tutorial helped you out.